YouTube, it's Monica, and today I just want to make a quick video for all of you guys that are new to homeschooling and just want some easy ideas on how to get started. So today I'm going to show you guys a really easy approach to organizing your homeschool and your time, okay? So it all kind of revolves around these homework packets that I make. Um, and I make them for the week and they are based off of um, goals that I have set for the entire course of my children's education. Obviously on a year to year, uh, a yearly basis, sometimes more often, I can adjust those goals. But it's good to have a starting point. So I literally sat down and said, at this age I want my kids to be able to enter college. What do they need to do to enter college? I worked backwards and said, this is what I need to do each year. So I have a list of goals for this year for each kid. It's on one page. Both kids are on one page with their goals. It's very easy. It's a nice little reminder sheet. So let me show you um, the packets. They're not Pinterest perfect, they're not beautiful, but they're really useful. So here is a packet. It includes, um, it includes basically like all the worksheets that they need to do for the week. Their math, their grammar, um, all of that. And now on the front, there are things like spelling, or not spelling, reading um, assignments, obviously that are not gonna be in this packet. Uh, spelling assignments, um, you know, other random things. There's going to be writing assignments, um, various various things. This is a packet from last week. So you notice when everything is done correctly, I put a check mark. That's how I know, and my kids know that we're done with this page. So on, you know. Monday, unfortunately, you know, I try to have this all done by Friday or Saturday, but some of last week's work bled into this week. So, you know, this had an X on it. That means it needed to be fixed. So now it's been fixed. It's a check mark. It's a check mark. I just glance at it. I know it's done. I mean, that's how the whole thing is. If you have worked on it, it's correct. There's check marks on top. So, I mean, that's, that's the basic idea. You have um, a list for their education, you break it down, you know what you're gonna do this year, so you have goals for this year. So when I make this week's, like this morning, I, ideally I do it on Sunday, you know, but I started yesterday and I had to finish today. And it takes a while to make the packets. Once you get a few pages in your packet, and remember, these packets are, they have the binder clips, not staples, so you can keep adding. So your kids can get started and you can keep adding to them, so that's nice. They're really nice because they're very flexible, so if you know we go to Taekwondo, my daughter can bring hers and she can work on it. If we go to ballet, my son can bring his and work on it. Um, I largely leave it up to them when they're going to work on it. I mean, that's not entirely true. I mean, I do tell them to work on it, um, but I'm trying to guide them into making good decisions and planning their own time. So we're kind of working in that direction. We're not completely there yet. If I'm gonna make this week's packet, I will look at last week's packet and I'll say, what do we need to do next, right? A lot of times it's just a matter of photocopying work sh the next worksheets in the workbook or um, you know, reading the next chapters in the book. And sometimes um, I keep a little list, a little to-do list of things I need to work on the next week that maybe the kids didn't understand. So I'll look at that little list and say, okay, I need to make a little worksheet on, on this or a little worksheet on that just to help them understand something better. Um, and then I will just double check those yearly goals because I usually forget something. So I double check those yearly goals. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to add that. I add it. We got a great worksheet. There's flexibility. I don't feel like I'm on them as much and it just feels a little more positive. And then just to give you a little idea of how the flow of the day goes. I wake up every morning, I try to give myself like 10 minutes of yoga. Now it's not some silly thing, I do it because I need it because I wake up stiff and that makes me grouchy and I don't wanna be grouchy with my kids all day. So just wake up, I do a little yoga and then I just give myself five or 10 minutes to think about how I want the day to go. You know, and I try to think, remind myself that I'm gonna be positive I'm gonna help guide these kids to be better people. Um, I'm gonna be a better person myself today than I was yesterday and, and all that. It just helps me mentally um, start the day on the right foot. And I know if you have really little kids, that's hard to do because they're just like clawing at you at 5 a.m. Well, that's if you were me. But um, it can be hard. Maybe lock yourself in the bathroom for five minutes and just give yourself five minutes of 
think time, but it's, it's really important and it's been a really good thing for me. And then come downstairs, have, or whatever, you know, come into the, the common room and have a start time. So your kids know and they have an expectation that we're going to start at this time, right? And just start at that time every day and, and sit down with them for a couple of hours where you're not multitasking and you're just helping them or maybe you're, you're making notes about what you're going to do next week or whatever, but you're sitting there, you're right there and you're focusing. So do that. Um, it, it sets the right tone for you to sit down with them and you'll find that if you do that, everything just goes smoother. Their attitudes are better, they get more work done, your attitude will be better, it'll just be good. It'll be a good thing. And then, you know, you can get up, you can multitask after that, but try to give yourself at least two hours where you're just only sitting with them, you know, only going things that are, you know, through things that are difficult, answering questions, all of that stuff. So see, they can work ahead on their worksheets. And then if, say, say you're busy and they're working on something at 4 p.m. and you're sort of like um, prepping dinner, maybe. I don't know, just an example. And you say, you know, it's not a good time right now. Well, they move on, they work on something they can work on. Well, the next day, if it comes to that, you know, at the very least, they know you're going to be sitting down with them for a couple of hours in that morning and they can ask that question then. So there's going to be dedicated time where you're going to help them with things. Um, I just find that it's a really good way of doing things. Um, and that's, you know, mostly it. Usually we will do school like a little after lunch, then we'll run errands, then we have activities. And that's our day, right? Get up, do schoolwork, lunch, a little more schoolwork, errands, activities, like ballet, taekwondo, things like that. I hope that was helpful. I hope I didn't forget anything big. Um, if you have questions, please ask in the comments below. And um, if you like, please click thumbs up. Have a great day, guys.